boop, and see that says launch mode enabled. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Another video about a guy showing off his car. This is actually a story about personal development and determination. All right, here we go. Okay, Get some soap. Let's see, soap, soap, soap. Okay, so what we got here is a 2020 customized Tesla Model S performance with the ludicrous mode. It comes with dual motors, seven cameras, and radar. Come on, let me show you something. All right, I don't know how many of you guys have ever rode one of these, but whenever it's a nice day like it is today, Okay, so you see this house right here. This house is a 10,000 square foot house and it was the very first house in this subdivision. And me and my father actually roofed that house. We put the metal on that house when I was a teenager. I was 19, I might have been 20. So this was the very first house in the subdivision that I now live in. And I was the roofer of this house. So I'm telling you that to tell you that I've come from very humble backgrounds. So you might be wondering why I'm telling you all this and what this has to do with me buying a Tesla. The bottom line is this, coming from humble beginnings made me want to help people. I have this strong desire to help other people. So when I went from roofing houses to becoming a real estate agent, then back to roofing houses when the market crashed and I lost everything, I was sleeping in my car, I was sleeping on friends' couches, eating out of people's refrigerators. I worked hard, tried to learn from my mistakes, came back into real estate. So now I'm back in real estate and I fought my way to becoming the top REMAX agent in the state of Alabama. Several, several years. Achieving that and walking through those footsteps, climbing that ladder of success, getting knocked off the ladder, continuing to fight hard and to try to be the best person that I could possibly be made me want to turn right around and tell my story to others and help other real estate agents achieve success so that they didn't have to go through the same mistakes that I went through. But just like everything else, I kept fighting and I kept trying to help more agents and more agents and more agents and I made a goal. And my goal was once I've helped 2,000 agents achieve higher volume, higher production, right, and helped agents enjoy being a real estate agent more. Once I've helped 2,000 agents achieve that, then I would go out and reward myself with the car that I've always wanted, a Tesla. And I didn't know which one I wanted. I just knew that I love Teslas ever since they came out with their autopilot and their speed. I just, I just loved it. I was attracted to it. So after a year and a half, I had achieved my goal and helped 2,000 agents succeed at a higher level but i didn't go get the tesla you know because it just didn't excite me at that moment i didn't feel like the time was right once i hit 2000 agents and that's kind of where i'm going with this guys because for me it was far more exciting to chase the goal of hitting the 2000 agents and helping that many people than it was to actually purchase the car so finally two more years after that i finally bought the car and honestly, what this car represents to me is how many people that I have helped in the world and will continue to help. And this is my commitment and my dedication to helping as many people on the face of the planet as I can without charging them a dime or expecting anything in return. Okay, Bam Bam, I'm gonna go take a spin. You wanna go? Come on, let's go. Okay guys, I'm gonna go take a spin in the Tesla. See you later, bye.
let's check this bad boy out. Okay, so normally when I wash the car, I take it for a ride and I hit this little strip over here by my house and go as fast as I can. Okay, well, I'm in ludicrous mode. It's warmed up for an hour. So I literally hit the brake and then I hit the gas at the same time. Boop, and see that says launch mode enabled. All I have to do is let go of the brake. Woo! Woo! Hey. It ain't no thing to do my thing. It's what I did the best. Yes, I copped that crib and bought two chains and then I hid the rest. 